Five seconds remaining. In the spirit. Be okay. Ooh, Yoku, you gotta be careful there, buddy. He's of course got himself the lift, so if that Ursa goes for him, that he'll be okay. Oh, Sand King, what's happening? What's happening there? The Rogue Ranger still ends up dying to Hakon. Uh, it helps. He's got the Elder Titan to back him up. There's an invisible Sand King coming from the side. Throw strike will hit on the Jakiro. The puck is here as well. Getting the silence up. The hoof stomp only hits up on two, not on the Sand King. The Dream Coil is still there. Jewel Breath up on only the puck. Can they actually do something? There's no Ice Path. There's no counter kill as the Jakiro dies and Shavash, all he can do is try to make it out alive. There is still the Soul Rip. We'll manage to use that on the other Titan. Doesn't get to heal too much from it. Tombstone goes up. So good luck trying to run away now after this one. Screen actually looks like he'll be okay. Uh, Willy, yep. Tombstone dies because it's only level one after all, as, as mentioned. Uh, three seconds before. He can maybe defend him by himself to Roche. No, he cannot. Take on small stun. Might just be enough. Puck has to be careful here. There are a lot of enemies around him, especially with Rubik coming back bottom as well. And Rubik still has Radiant the flame. Um, the, yeah, the fire spirit, so he can do some extra damage with that. And he has some extra movement as well. And down he goes. Fight it. They've been pushing towers, and they've been getting pickoffs. And the pickoffs have mostly consisted of mistakes, I feel. Oh, hello. Lift. The burrow strike still happens though, and that means that Rubik, even though actually he lives with the stun coming out as well, Pikachu taking a lot of damage there. That is going to be a kill for H as another burrow strike hits on this Ursa. He already used his ultimate, so he doesn't have anything else anymore. No fear, keeps alive for a little while longer. In the meantime, though, Dro Ranger just finds places to hit, but the burrow strike comes through again. Up on two. Sudoi tries to take H down with him, but no such luck indeed. Double kill for Yoku right now as he does kill off the Sand King, but he himself gets a dream coiled. Nice face shift by Hakon and H is on a mega kill streak as he also gets a second kill of the fight. Four dead on the side of Anchi. I'm dying. His tombstone is now up to level four. He's got another one in 20 seconds. Screen does not have a blink dagger yet, so has to first get in range before he can make something happen. This might be the time for him. He gets silenced up and walks into the gust. This Earth Splitter is going to be very nice, making sure that it hits the Ember Spirit. Ember tries to get out, won't be able to get out. Now the Epicenter comes out from screen, but everybody's just able to walk away from it. And Sudoi gets himself a double kill, now slowing down the Ursa. He does not have his ultimate anymore. Sudoi couldn't chase, had to walk around some trees. Now still finds the slow on the Angel Deparation, though. Yoku walks off the cold feet and is able to help kill off the Angel Deparation. But he walks too close to the Ursa, so at least he gets still, still gets that. That is four dead for two. Now the tables have turned. Check, get a pick off, and then take uh, high ground. Let's see if they get Roshan though, if they can do a check mark there too, because I, I kind of preemptively did it. Ursa is planning on jumping in. Pikachu does get the thing. Oh, blink. Happy center. But he's not going in with the burrow strike. I uh, got interrupted there. Still, also, Ursa hasn't jumped in yet. Roshan is still up. Bro Strike comes out, hits on the Rubik. In the meantime, Ursa has found himself a target, found himself Pikachu actually, as Ember Spirit silent stop, looking for Sudoi, has got the, the, the James again, a sleight of fist, and uh, that is two extra dead on the side of Anshi. Rubik gets cold feet, stuck there, and is not gonna live very much longer with that. Shavash, I don't think he can save him, but he can try, he might be able to. Burn damage will take him down. And if that wouldn't, the puck would have taken out a no. Hello? We were still around? He shouldn't have been there anymore. Bottom and he managed to, to hold his own quite well. He's level 12. Uh, he's also dead. Um, level 12 is a decent level for him, for sure. Silence comes out. Nursa, draw, you gotta run though. Forced to the high ground with the Hurricane Pie, still getting the slide of fist there and the Burrow Strike. Macro Pyre, Jakiro coming in from the back, might be enough. Jewel Breath as well, Pikachu will get cold feet though if he's not careful, he does need to get that. The Aegis gets burned, but Ursa will be back in just a second. The Silence lasts a very long time on that Ember Spirit and he will not be able to make it out with that one. Epicenter used, doesn't actually kill off Nofair who's still alive, screen. Still in the sandstorm, will be okay. No Fear manages to make it back to base if he wants to, but he might also just decide to help back out to try and kill off this ancient apparition. Four for one. They might have killed the Rubik, 
to begin with right over here, but that... Nice half. Hakon doesn't get stuck by that. They don't actually see him. Ooh, I do think they saw him right there though. Yeah, the pink comes out. They actually catch him too. But they were there. More occupied with the Sand King. More people coming in right now. Ursa jumping in. That's a Tombstone Killer we were used to. Elder Titan Split Earth coming through actually with a nice stun as well. Ursa is very low in life. Doesn't have the Aegis. Got to be careful. The Sand King. Sorry, this Undying is still uh, dead for though. Yoku also looking to escape but he is not having the greatest of odds he ends up dropping two for zero it's gonna be three for zero pikachu Ooh. he's ah he's dead they don't have any vision around the river uh dire also is kind of low on on vision so they're just marching through and uh, seeing if they can catch someone there smoke is broken by someone on the high ground they find ursa with a glimmer cape on the ancient operation the Ursa is the one that is uh, in trouble first, though he has got his ultimate, but he's silenced for the moment. He will be able to pop his ultimate. Is he taking enough damage to die slowly but steadily? Jakiro is such a god against the Ursa. Is curse word or not. Lucky Drill Ranger. Ancient Operation Ulti is coming through though, so that will be a little bit annoying for him, but he should still be able to make it out. Oh, the Ice Path catches the puck. The Aegis still gets taken by Sidori though, and the puck and the Sand King both die. The tier 3 tower in the mid lane is dropping and there's nothing Ursa and Ember Spirit can do against them and then they know it. And it's better to use the time farming rather than to use that time just standing around not doing anything. Careful though, Dream Coil coming out. But that's a Dream Coil from the puck, it doesn't actually catch, uh, from the, sorry, from the, from the Rubik. It doesn't actually catch the Ember Spirit. Uh, the Rex do die, we have got everybody up again, a uh, nice kill up, but there's, uh, well, there was some vision but Ursa didn't want to try and uh, force out. The oh, to the low ground he goes! Then they got the detection as well, he has to run, he has to flee, he manages to get out there, injured operation, slept for the moment, is there enough damage? There's a macro fire coming out from the Jakiro, Dream Quill as well, keeping two in place, and Screen trying to make something happen there with an epicenter, but the cheese was up on Pikachu, so he lives for the moment. A slide of fist by the Rubik as we have Undying picked off on the side by the Ancient Operation. Another sign of fist this time it comes from the actual Ember Spirit and the Burrow Strike up on two as well. Is there enough damage to take them out? The Silence comes out as well. Glimmer Cape keeps the Kiro safe. Hakon getting himself out. Yule's up in the air. He will not be able to blink but he does have another face shift. Won't be able to get it off. Ursa now coming forward having that BKB will help him take down the Jakiro. But can he get more? I don't think he can. He has a blink in five. Is he going back on the high ground? So is still out hanging around there. He has another gust available as well. So if they come too close, there will be a gust and a hurricane pike. And all of a sudden, Sudoi is back to being scary. He still has the ages as well. He still has the BKB as well. Once he dies, he'll be back up and he will still be having his BKB to save him and perhaps BKB TP out or just BKB and fight everybody that he sees. He's trying to go on the Ursa right now. He's not able to get a Burrow Strike out screen, thinking about getting away, but Sudoi, or rather Yoku, trying to stop that from happening. Ember Spirit, where is he going? He's got himself out of there with his spirit. Nobody else but Jakiro died on the side Hero. of Anchi. He's gonna be here too. Now there's no BKB anymore on the Drow Ranger and there is also no Pages. Undying. Very aggressive. Tries to keep himself alive. Doesn't look like he will be able to be living very much longer, but um, apparently I'm wrong. He lives for a very long time. Doesn't have the Ice Blast on him, so he can heal himself as well. It is a screen that is taking a lot of damage from the fire. The Jakiro magical damage turned out to be too much for him, but now Ursa is back up. So at this point, Anshi has got to be very careful. They already got the racks. They still managed to take down the puck. Now or. <laughs> Now Urza comes in, Pikachu is the target once more, he already died the first fight around, now he dies again. <laughs> this time though the Rex are already dead by the time he dies, so he is happy with that. There's a buyback on the Ancient Operation, they know that this might be the last fight that they have in this game, as Anchi is just pushing forward, going towards the fountain. Ember Spirit and Ancient Operation, the last two remaining alive on the side of oh, Command Liquid Fires on the tower. That's why he's on this side. Ice Path actually catches screen, even though he was trying to probably get the Ember Spirit there. Ember Spirit just wanted to make it back to base. Has to be careful. With all the distraction going on in the mid lane, top lane is still getting uh, sieged a little bit. The tier 3 tower is still standing. Oh, Jakiro. Pikachu. You gotta know when to quit. You got to know when to quit. Tier 3 tower does end up dropping, so you got that. He has a silver edge and he's away. 
indeed silence coming out that is a dead sand king he is uh way past his support team away from his support away from his family away from his team dancing on dying he'll pay for that if it's up to the ursa this bkb is on a fairly short duration right now so it's also a lower cooldown Jakiro has been in this fight three times. Died three times, rather. The rest of his team has been alive this whole time and hasn't needed to back off. Oh, that air splitter is a beautiful ice path. Micropy Jakiro is back, by the way. Yay! In the front lines, he can liquid fire the racks if he wants to. He'll probably want to get the Glimmer Cape out. His Dream Quilt now as well. His ice path misses. Does manage to take down the Ancient Operation, and this is GG indeed. Anchi, victorious, and managed to take a game off of Comanche, and with that, crush Comanche's dreams, just like their own have been crushed. Oh, well, let's not.